Hi all, welcome to my channel. We are now discussing relations and functions, chapter 2, class 11 maths. In the previous part, we discussed exercise 2.3, question number up to 3. And in this section, I start from question number 4. Question number 4, the function t which maths Temperature in degree Celsius into temperature in degree Fahrenheit is defined by T of C is equal to 9C divided by 5 plus 32. Find first question T of 0. Here T is a function and T map temperature in degree Celsius into temperature in Fahrenheit. And the function is given T of C is equal to 9C divided by 5 plus 32. We want to find out the particular value of that function. Here, first question, t of 0. Put c equal to 0. What we get? 9 into 0 divided by 5 plus 32. Equal to 0 plus 32 equal to 32. So, t of 0 equal to 32. Second, t of 28. T of 28 is equal to 9 into 28 divided by 5 plus 32. That is equal to 252 divided by 5 plus 32. Equal to 50.4 plus 32. That is equal to 82.4. The final answer is 82.4. T of 28 is equal to 82.4. Okay. Third one. T of minus 10 that is equal to 9 into minus 10 divided by 5 plus 32 that is equal to minus 18 plus 32 equal 14 so t of minus 10 is equal to 14 fourth question the value of c when t of c equal to 212 that means we want to find out the value of c when t of c equal to 212 for that T of C equal to 212 implies 9C divided by 5 plus 32 equal to 212. Solving this equation, find out C. 9C divided by 5 equal to 212 minus 32, 180. So, 9C equal to 180 into 5. That is, 180 into 5 equal to 900. So, C equal to 900 divided by 9 equal 100. The value of C is 100 when T of C equal to 212. It's clear. Question number 5. Find the range of each of the following questions. First one, f of x equal to 2 minus 3x, x element of r and x greater than 0. This is the first question. Here f of x equal to 2 minus 3x. The function is 2 minus 3x and domain x takes the values x element of r and x greater than 0. That means x is a positive real numbers. Its domain is positive real numbers. Then we want to find out range. That means f of x. The value of f of x. Here x greater than 0 is given. So we start from x greater than 0. x greater than 0 implies we multiply 3 on both sides. 3x greater than 3 times 0 equal to 0. So we can write 3x greater than 0. Then here Look at the function. In this function, 2 minus 3x. So, we take minus 3x. For that, we multiply with the minus on both sides. At that time, greater than is changed into less than. So, we got minus of 3x less than 0. That is minus 3x less than 0. Then again, look into the function. 2 is added. So, we add 2 on both sides. 2 minus 3x less than 0 plus 2. 
Okay, 2 is added on both sides. 2 minus 3x less than 0 plus 2. That implies 2 minus 3x less than 2. And f of x, f of x is less than 2. That means the range, take the values, real numbers less than 2. So we can write that it as the function equal to open interval minus infinity 2. 2 is not including so, we can write that open interval minus infinity 2. Is it clear? So, in this problem, f of x equal to 2 minus 3x, the domain x greater than 0 and the x element of r set of all positive real numbers and the range we got open interval minus infinity 2. Okay. Second question, f of x equal to x square plus 2, x is a real number. Find out range. Here it is a real number. So we can write x element of r. And the square of the real number must be greater than or equal to 0. That means x square greater than or equal to 0. Here the function is f of x equal to x square plus 2. So we add 2 on both sides in this inequality. But we get x square plus 2 greater than or equal to 0 plus 2. That implies x square plus 2 greater than or equal to 2. That is f of x greater than or equal to 2. So we got f of x is greater than or equal to 2. That means the range of the function is closed interval 2 to infinity. The range that question is f of x equal to x and x is a real number. That means domain of the function is real numbers, all real numbers. And f of x equal to x, this is an identity function. x element of r, then f of x is element of r. That means the range of the function is r. If x equal to 1, f of x equal to 1. x equal to minus 1, f of x equal to minus 1. x equal to 0, f of x equal to 0. At any value of x, f of x is same as that. So, range of the function is r. This is an identity function. f of x equal to x is an identity function. So, range of the function is R. This is the last question in this exercise. So, we wind up today class. In the next section, we discuss previous year question and answers related with this chapter. Thank you.